is going on y'all how y'all doing today you already know you tuned into onassis gaming's dream play live this is your host salon boy brick aka brick the lyricist and we are back with another reactional video four days ago money bag yo dropped the track bro that's a good ass rhyme right i mean it is what it is i mean all right so money bags yo just dropped a new uh a new track that just came out shawl is shawl is shawl is shawl is like i think i'm i'm, I'm assuming he's saying sure is shawl shawl is but um actually money back yo has i think he's dropped like three new tracks in the past week or two weeks you know i think it's a week he's dropped uh three new tracks and everything i guess he got an album that's coming out soon um shit uh, i guess we can't we can't really wait for it we just gotta we just gotta you know I mean we just gotta jump right into it money bags yo i've heard of the name never really heard the raps if i did hear the raps it were on the radio and the nigga did not know who the fuck money bags yo was or what he sounded like that's the same thing when it came to like little dirk i didn't know who the fuck little dirk. every time i hear little dirk on that drake track I still be wondering, like, how the fuck did I know this nigga was who he said he was? Now that I'm getting into the music scene and doing a lot more of it, I'm starting to be able to understand and, and, and identify a lot of these artists when I hear them on the radio before they even start. Like, like even sometimes when the beat comes on, I kind of already know who it might be or who it's coming from because of, you know, like, every every artist has their own style. But Moneybags Joe dropped a track. This joint in four days. Damn. We just, you, you saw, we just saw the uh, my last video at the end. When I was um uh reviewing the 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 Wiz Khalifa Wiz Khalifa close frame, at the end you saw the third world Panama from um from Kevin Gates, and that shit was only at like eight hundred and uh, eight hundred and twelve thousand, and that was twelve days. This nigga's at nine hundred and ninety three k in four days. Money bag, yo man, do your thing, man. People really must love you. So we're gonna react to this video, and you already know what we're doing, man. Flows, word plays, metaphors, punchlines. As long as you are an artist, these are the four that I'm looking for. Soon I'm gonna be doing a lot more R and B and a lot more international, but the ratings have to be done in a certain way. I can't go off of these four categories. I, I probably could, but when you're doing R and B, you're not necessarily looking to play on words most of the time. You're not really looking to hit you with punchlines. You're really expressing yourself and you're putting feelings out there. So I'm thinking maybe, um, uh, I think when I did the international one, I did uh, the visuals as far as like the video quality, video visuals, the flow, um, and um, and and uh, what I'm doing now is harmonizing. I think that's what it was last time I was looking for harmonized, like because sometimes you'll hear the beat. But depending on who's putting the vocals on those beats, oh, that should be fire. That should be fire. So, so probably harmonize. I think it was harmonize, harmonizing or harmonization, however you, you want to say it. Harmonize, harmonization, harmoning, harmonizing. Um, uh, that that's the three categories. I just need one more that I would love to push for. And I want to say multiples, but I don't know because not every singer. Not every singer does it that way, you know, so you just got to you just I got to I got to figure out a way to, to be able to balance that. But money bags, yo, man, we talked for like three minutes straight. I apologize, y'all, man. I started getting into a big ass rant. We're going to go into this show is. <laughs> Soon as they think this shit sweet, we gon' tweak out. Don't speak. Gotta stand for some it just her Benny on post speak bout. No show lives, ain't no hoe in him, he keep that pole on him. Show lives, ain't no bitch in us who got more sticks than us. We got members from the projects to the compound. If you holding up your wrist, make sure it's buzzed down. Dog shit, see we all live. Cartier buff song. Options, it was hard to pick, so I put both on. These broke ass niggas talk too much, I ain't even boss enough. Too low. Stop trying to compare your life. The man, boy, you ain't bought enough. Nah. Youngest in my city, work for 50. I'm trying to set the bar. A ticket for this toy sits so low, it feel like a go car. Smashing, mashing, gassing, 
roadkill Bad bitch do lashes, ass did show lil Medicine, I said I quit on right back pouring deuces Still don't know where I would be if it weren't for this music My nigga a hitter, my cousin a robber, my brother a dealer He apes and gorillas, if your shit got took, but I know who did it Told you I'm deep in the sister streets I keep it I think Madea rubbing off on you. Had to cut off some niggas. Why? If you don't sing with me, they cropped out the picture. Ain't my kind. Soon as they think this shit sweet, we gon' tweak out. Don't speak. Gotta stand for something, just like Benny on post speak about. No. Show lives, ain't no hoe in him, he keep that pole on him. Show lives, ain't no bitch in us who got more sticks than us. Uh. We got members from the projects to the compound. Wow. So if you holding up your wrist, make sure it's buzzed down. Dog shit, see we all live. Cartier buff song. Chance. It was hard to pick, so I put both on. Trapping off in the shade, upgrading my life, made a better way. Used to barely get by, now we getting paid. Mm. I had already knew they were finna hate. Yo, there you go. Damage lemonade. A little over a four and a minute made. If 12 come, we ain't got shit to say. Get these red ass niggas up out the way. Gotta stand on the AP. Check. Rolly, check. Richard Miller, here blow. Oh. Spend the 20s, bury all the blue notes. Go. Last week she nagged me, uh. this week I got new hoes. Swap. Used to couldn't afford a house, now I'm shopping for two more. Wow. LV, hmm. Chris and D. Or she say she near me, red seats in that new Ferrari. Can you smell me? Can you dig me? Nigga, I'm not cheap, but I ain't playing for her. Catch a slip back in that world, we gotta take it there. As soon as they think this shit sweet, we gon' tweak out. Gotta stand for something, just like Benny on post speak about. No show lives, ain't no hoe in him, he keep that pole on him. Show lives, ain't no bitch in us who got more sticks than us. We got members from the projects to the compound. If you holding up your wrist, make sure it's buzzed down. Dog shit, see we all live. Cartier buff song. Options, it was hard to pick, so I put both on too. Hey. Okay. 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 That shit was not bad. Okay, money bags, yo, you done got me into. I'm a fan now, bro. I'm a motherfucking fan. You done, you done. Listen, now you got nine thousand nine hundred nine 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 hundred and ninety three thousand and whatever else at the end of that plus one. You got me as a fan now, bro. That shit was that shit was good. That shit was good. That shit was good. That was not bad though, man. Let's jump right into it cuz I did a whole big ass rant in the beginning of it. I shouldn't have did that. But it is what it is, you know. Um like I said, I'm trying to do more R&B. I'm trying to get more international um uh musics and vibes in there, so I'm going I'm just going to rock out with that. But but all right. Flows. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I Brain fart, brain fart, brain fart, brain fart, brain fart. All right. So, flow. I'm going to give it a seven. I'm going to give it a seven. He was bouncing that beat. It was a good-ass beat. It was a good-ass beat, and he was riding that shit. I mean, especially that second verse. That second verse came in, and, and and you know, he was he was hitting the multiples, man. He was doing his thing. He was doing his thing. He wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like every every other line was a rhyme. It was actually just half rhyme then the other half of the bar rhyme and then half rhyme and then the other half of the bar and i think he did that for about four bars four bars all together so that wasn't that wasn't bad though man wordplay wasn't really too many in there but he was knocking some of them joints down though man i'm gonna give him a six i'm gonna give him a six i'm gonna give him a little bit above average on that you know he was definitely he was definitely dropping a few metaphors not really like like some old crazy crazy shit but he was dropping a few metaphors he was standing a little bit above average a little bit above average we're talking at seven six multiples i gotta give that one an eight man because that second verse is where he really came in and switched it up and um and uh and 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 he could have he man he could have he could have kept something like that going from that and to the end you know he could have came in like that from the beginning and i would have probably gave him a, a eight or a nine but he definitely switched it up in that second verse, and that's what you need, man. You want, you want as an artist, you want to be unpredictable. You want to be able to know, like, you can ride the beat slow and slow and slow and slow. Now, you don't have to do that every time because then it becomes consistent. Like, the one person that does that every time that you actually start to notice is Jordan Lucas. Jordan Lucas is a hot-ass rapper, but 
his flow is so simple and you can always catch it because he'll start off slow and then he'll pick it up super, 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 super fast, hit you with all these multiples, all these punch lines, then he'll slow it back down and then he'll hit you super, super, super fast and he'll just keep doing that over and over on almost every track you listen to. You'll just, you'll just be able to see that consistency all the time, you know, but, you know, to each his artist his own. But yeah, multiples, I got to give that one an eight. So we're talking seven, six, eight so far. Punch lines, I'm going to give that one a seven. I mean, um... Yeah, I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the punchlines a seven. Punchlines a seven. Well, they were they were in there. There were punchlines is in there. They correlate against with the um, wordplay, but the metaphors and the ending or how hard the ending is are two different things. Metaphors is what can you compare and how you can do wordplay, like how you play on these words as you're spitting it. The punchlines is how how well those things hit as far as like how much they make sense with all the sentences together. You know. You could be talking about one. You could be talking about one thing. Hit you with the metaphor, but then hit it with the punchline that actually puts all of that shit together. So that's really what it is. Um, it wasn't too bad. He could have been a little bit better with the punchlines. I probably should have gave him a six, but a seven is where I stand because I'm like kind of in the middle, like a six point six, six and a half type shit. So, and you know me, I don't do no point nothing. So it's, I'm, I'm gonna just raise it straight up to a five. You go to you go to the next. Um, you go to the, the the next greater the next greatest number or the next even number or whatever you want to call it, um, seven. So we talking seven six eight seven. Seven six eight seven. Seven and seven is fourteen. Six is twenty plus eight. That's twenty eight. Twenty eight out of dime. Oh, I'm a little tense, man. I should have stretched. I should have stretched early morning. So that's that's twenty eight out of thirty. That is not bad at all, man. That is not bad at all. It was take some notes. Anybody else that's a little bit under, take some notes. Don't don't hesitate. But yeah. So 28 out of 7 on money bags. Yo, I'm probably gonna do a few more money bag yo tracks. And um and yeah, so just just wait for it, man. This is this wasn't bad. This wasn't bad. This was definitely good. Show is. Show is is a good track. Is it one for the playlist? Hell yeah, man. Throw that shit in the playlist, man. Let that shit go on random when it pop up, man. It's gonna give you some motivation to either write and or uh, um, get yourself a, a AP and a Roly and put both of them on. You know, it is what it is, man. It's Solomon Boy Brick, aka Brick Delivery Sis. As always, this is Onassis Gaming. Dream big, play hard, uh, live good. You already know how we do it, man. Peace, one love. <laughs>